So I said to Michael, Michael, went, you know, was in in uh, went to Italy. Mm -hmm. So I said, where are you going to be gone a while? I said, when you come back, I know, you know, when you get ready to come on a plane, start thinking about coming home and we'll see what Arnold does. <laughs> he didn't have any. <laughs> he no, didn't, no. no he connection. Didn't have any <laughs> Not like the cat did. He, he wasn't no, looking like, out the <clears throat> window anxiously or anything. He had no clue that Michael was there. So he, that or he didn't care. Hmm? <laughs> that or he, he wasn't, wasn't excited by the process. Yeah. He could have known. <laughs> so some dogs do. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. But anyway, I asked. But he, he, he understands when we talk to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no question. I, so I told Michael when he got him, I said, just talk to him like a little time. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't have to sit down and say, now in 15 minutes we're going to get trained to do this or that or the other. I said, you just talk to the dog as you go along. <laughs> and he was trained. Michael trained him. He, he was housebroken in a month. He, by the time he was three months old, he was completely housebroken. But I think part of it is because we had the other dog and we used the backyard and we got, mm -hmm. you know, that sunk in on him. We had the doggy door. So I could, right. But I've had dogs that are not that <laughs> easy to train. That's what I said to you. Or they wake up, you take them, put them outside, and then tell them how good they are. You know, feed them. And I said, I'm not. I can't do that anymore. It's up to you. <laughs> I'm not fast enough. By the time I'd get to him, he, yeah. he was already. But anyway, he was a good. He's a, he's a most different dog we've ever had. I've never had a dog. I said, if he, we had a pack, he'd be the last one in the pack trying to please everybody. See, and and Toby, she would have been the leader. Uh -huh. And they train. Those dogs are bred to. Uh, uh, react to sounds, you know, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And every time the phone rang, she ran to me, and then she'd get behind me, and as i go to pick up the phone, she, you know, they, they nip the cows in the neck. Mm -hmm. And she would jump up, and, and of course I'd be going like this, and somebody said, are you running? I said, no, I'm beating the dog up. I tried everything I could. I, I got a whole bunch of things and set them every 15 minutes and stuff, you know, so she would just ignore it. But when that phone rang, we went through that every wow. time. That phone was a signal I was supposed to get up and do something. Mm -hmm. And she was supposed to make yeah, sure you so did. She, she had that instinct, so I was telling somebody, you know, she's driving me cuckoo. And, and of course I couldn't go out the front door without, you know, seeing that she didn't go out. And she said, well, I don't know why you keep a dog. Yeah. It's uh, like adopting a child when you keep it. Classic cold. Yeah, that was good stuff. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know, you get a dog, <coughs> you, you, you keep it. <laughs> unless yeah. It, unless it's actually vicious and you can't handle it. I, I, I couldn't believe you said that to me. You know, well, why don't you just get rid of it? I said, no, she's part of the family. I have to put her. <laughs> Good for you.